Yeah, what have I done now? Well, um, my wife's car, it's a 2004 Nissan Murano. Um, great car, but we've noticed that, well, for the longest time, um, there was a, a loud humming noise. So I knew it had to be the uh, uh, the bearing up front, and you can buy bearings uh, to replace this. I think they were uh, like 45 bucks for one side and like 10 bucks for the other side. Uh, but then you got to put them in and all that stuff, and or you can buy a complete hub assembly, which is this right here. Um, this whole thing was 109 bucks for a one-year warranty, and they got one for a three-year warranty. That's uh, I think it was like 170. So I didn't see the the value in three years for you know 70 bucks more or whatever. So, anyways, uh, I just got this thing loose. So I can throw some gloves on. It was everything went good. All the way up until actual had to take the hub it's, itself out. I beat the snot out of that thing. Um, and here, give me just a second. I want to set you down. Um, sorry. Yeah, I beat the snot out of the thing. As you can see, <laughs> I could not get that thing turned loose. I even got the oxygen settling tank out. But um. Finally got it out. Um, or I guess I should say I finally got it loose. But where it's going to have the most trouble is right in here. And I'm going to get my, my little grinder out. And uh, get that all out real good. Uh, still kind of warm though. But yeah, so I'll, I'll reuse this. Put that on there. And all back, but yeah, other than, other than getting that piece out itself, it wasn't too bad. Um, oh, here's that in case anybody's wondering. Still working, no, uh, nothing's uh, squeaking anymore or whatever. So, anyways, there you go. Later, okay. So, here's the old one after I got it cooled off a little bit. See if you can listen to this. That's pretty bad. You can see it kind of catching. So here's what the new one's supposed to be like. Ooh, nice and smooth. Okay, so I got it back together. Um, I show. I'll go over the bolts real quick that you got to do to take this off. Um, this is gonna be your caliper bolt. Go straight caliper. So there's one there, one down there. There's your caliber bolt bracket. That's this one here. There's one right underneath it. Uh, let's see if I can find my flashlight. There it is. Alrighty. Now, once you get your uh, your caliper, just hang it out of the way. I hung it up there with the uh, what do you call it? Bungee cord. So, there are four bolts. There's one there. Uh, let's see. There's that one. There's one over there. Then there's two down here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one and that one. So, get those off. That, that takes off your, your hub. Then you have this monster bolt here, and you have a cotter pin. Just pull out the cotter pin, pull out this monster bolt. Um, then that's whenever you need to just beat the snot out of it. Um, and oh, make sure you have if you're if you're hitting on your uh, your axle right here, put that nut on there so it doesn't booger up. I didn't do that and uh, mashed it down, so I had to cut some of those threads off uh, to make it get on there good. But anyways, um, yeah, it's it was it was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, then I just 
just kept beating on that hub. And it finally, finally came loose. Um, like I said, I had to use the oxygen acetylene tank. Um, and then here's the here's the old hub. So, and here's my plethora of tools that I had to use to get this job done. Here, let me put you on the tripod real quick. Yeah, I'll let you hear this. That's just, that's horrible. So, I'm glad that that really did fix the problem. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me clean all this stuff up and wife should be happy. But I need to get some more oxygen. I'm getting pretty low on it. So, turn all this stuff off. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate. Um, oh, one thing I did do was this, uh, this shield right here. I put it on backwards, inside out. This, this should be facing that way. And I had already put everything back on. You know, I put the hub on there, those four bolts, this uh, axle nut and all that. So I said, screw that. So I just got it and bent it backwards. It's it's not gonna do that much. It's not be that big of a deal. Uh, but if you do do it, just make sure that you bend it out of the way so your uh, rotor doesn't rub on it or you'll get another really loud noise. All right. So I got everything back together. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you was, um, Make sure whenever you start taking things apart, um, on the there's a speed sensor on the back, or maybe it's your analog. I think it's your, for your analog brakes. I don't know. Anyways, there's some kind of little sensor in the back. Let's see if I can stick my head in here and show you what I'm talking about. Oh, let's see. I think that's it. My head won't hardly fit in there. <laughs> but uh there is a small little sensor that goes on, I think. Yeah, that's it. I can see it now. Yeah, that right there. Take that out. Um let's see if I can show you in behind it. But it kind of sticks kind of in the way. Um and it goes into like a, I don't know, a piece right there. Um, I'll get this way. Maybe I threw that piece away. Crap. Yeah, I think I did. Um, that piece right there. Um, that goes on the back of your hub. And then there's a little space inside that. That fits right on the, fits like right in here, right on the back of this. This this is what actually goes goes in. You can see how rusted it was. That's why it's so hard to get out. That other piece slips on this this outer right here, and uh, it slips in right through there. But um, I forgot to tell you, make sure that you take that out uh, before you try and pull this all out. So that might. Uh, I was kind of unfortunate that this wouldn't come out so easy. Because um, otherwise, if I would have done that, it would have snapped that piece off and you would have had to buy that. I would have had to buy that. So, Okay, so that project's done. Um, maybe trading these two things. Got the uh, trail mower and the Craftsman mower. And then... Um, and this, this is uh, the 20 volt lithium ion uh, Craftsman tool set. Um, might be trading that for something. We'll see if it goes through. Um, the guy says he's got a 2003 uh, Tiger truck. Um, it's basically a mini truck. He said it's two wheel drive. The uh, he says the starter, it needs a starter and a battery. I don't know, it might be a, the whole engine might be locked up or something, but 
anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna take that down there and we'll see if we can do a trade for it but uh yep y'all stay tuned oh um while I was working on that a uh, little boy lives down the street his name is Joe um, he has autism but uh, he likes to come over here and half the time he scares the heck out of me because I'll be over here facing this wall welding or something and he doesn't talk a lot and he'll reach up and grab you and if you're not paying attention um, <laughs> it can scare you pretty good but um, while I was trying to explain this you know I had the torch out and everything he he had walked up and um, that hub was still really hot so I was, I was watching out for him I didn't want him to try and grab anything um, so I wasn't as in-depth as I should have been uh, or could have been um, but I just kind of wanted to explain that real good kid though anyways uh, y'all comment rate um, and hopefully we'll have a, a new project and we'll go we'll go see if uh, that's worthy of a trade for that uh, that little mini truck talk to y'all later thanks bye